Hello everyone, welcome to all in video number 5. Today we are going to discuss technique number 3 expressing agreement and disagreement. Agreement and disagreement are inseparable aspect in a group discussion. During the course of group discussion, you may agree with a statement, suggestion, solution or sometimes you are disagree with the statement. When you agree with a specific view, be firm in your opinion. Do not be fickle minded or indecisive. Further, whether you agree or disagree, concentrate and be firm on your opinion and avoid yawning, looking outside, touching hairs, lip beating or etc. It shows that you are nervous and indecisive. Agreement or disagreement depends on your throughout knowledge of the subject and your expressive skills. Sometimes you are agree partially and want to modify a given statement or view and sometimes we express strong disagreements, you should take care that our words should not hurt to others. Use these following expressions to express your agreement. Like, I agree with you 100%. That's so true. Absolutely correct. Exactly what I mean. You have a point there. You are absolutely right. Okay. But sometimes you want to show you are strong agreement to support the point of view. That time you can say as far as I am concentrated I absolutely agree with you that girls are scoring good marks in examination but sometimes you are partially agree with the statement which is made by others earlier that time you can say that personally I agree with you but Use of ICT in teaching is important for teachers. And when the speaker is agrees by giving reasons, the speaker reacts against absolute statement and seek example in supporting. That time you can use expression like this. Well, according to you, the use of cell phone and some mobile apps are harmful to our student. Could you give any specific examples? Okay. In group discussion, you have to use specific structures, words and phrases to express your strong agreement or partial agreement. When you want to express your strong agreement, you can use, you are absolutely right. I agree with you entirely. Yes, that is a good point. I would go along with you. I think so too. Of course, you are right. I have no doubt about your point. I don't think so either. These expressions express, yes, you are strongly agree with the point of view of others. But sometimes you are partially agree with the other's point of view which is made by others earlier. That time you can express your partial agreement like this. 
I agree with you up to a point. I agree with you in case of two things only. Well, but we will have to examine this. It is somewhat difficult. I also think so, but I am not sure it will work. You are right, but what about the other things? I can't agree with you fully. I want to say something different. Okay? Some manners and etiquettes you have to maintain when you are making agreement or disagreement. First thing, you have to keep in mind that every participant is free to agree or disagree with your statement. Don't impose any views or opinions on the other group members. Avoid to make strong statements. Don't speak loudly and aggressively. Your language must be polite and soft. You have to accept and consider the feelings of others. You have to respect the feelings of other group members. Be moderate and avoid competitiveness. Because group discussion is the fair discussion and after the discussion you have to go to the conclusion. Tolerate the other's point of view. Give convincing reasons for disagreement with the evidences. Remember that group discussion is brainstorming session. It is not a fight. Okay? These following expressions you can use when you are disagree with the others. First example, I am sorry to disagree with you. If you want to cancel GST, propose other ways of cancelling or collecting tax which can't be foolish. Okay. The second example, I am not fully convinced of your views. You can't judge all people to be blind behaviors, believers. They have their own faith. Example number third of disagreement. It is injustice on the part of student to say that they are very much crazy for internet and cell phone. Don't you think they are very much familiar with modern technology? Example number four. No, no. I can't agree with you. I think you are absolutely wrong because you can't judge a person by outward appearance. Example number fifth. I must take issue with you on your view that rich people are becoming richer and poor poorer. During the last 10 years, the poor classes have shown a poor mobility. These are the examples of disagreement. But when you are disagree with the statement made by other group member, you have to maintain your manners and etiquettes in the group. And what are the manners? The speaker politely disagree and insist on finding out alternate ways. The speaker gives new suggestions. Speaker is raising questions but with valid reasons. Okay? So, these are some examples shows agreement and disagreement 
on the topic while you are member of group discussion or a leader of group discussion to develop the skill of group discussion you have to form on your own opinion and try to convince others in polite language don't cross the boundaries of manners and etiquettes thank you so much in our next video we are going to discuss technique number 4 intervening or breaking into the discussion